Max, George, thank you so much for coming on Unbox. Thank Pleasure. you for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So for those who don't know, although most people will, because yes. you, you guys are everywhere, yeah, of course. Um, of course. <laughs> um, tell us about what you guys create. Just content that upsets myself and everyone who knows me. <laughs> yeah. um, mostly we grew on TikTok. Well, pretty much yeah. we, we got our start on TikTok. Yeah. And what type of content, you know, obviously you guys are doing this for, for a long time. What, mm -hmm. what does well for you? How do you, what is your formula to kind of getting videos that, that do I, I used to have quite, because when I got TikTok, it was the start of the pandemic Everybody got it. The amount of people who say that. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, timing-wise, mm. but there were so many people who, during that time, obviously, the perfect kind of creative mm. moment. Mm. And so many people had that same story, right? Yeah, it's so bizarre. Most of our friends, like, in the industry that we've come up with, all it happened to us all at the same time. And mm. I weirdly used to put a lot of effort into my videos. And now I put none in. Lots of, no. Um, but I used to do ones that was like moments in pop culture history that I like are crazy and stuff like that, that are like... I didn't even know you did exactly. that. Exactly. Oh, this was before I had like 50k followers even. Right. But the videos would get like millions of views. But and, and then I would get really encouraged to keep doing them and put loads of effort into mm. them. But then I realized people weren't following me for me. And like one video, I posted just being a bit weird and being myself. And that did really well. But I gained loads of followers from it as opposed to the content doing well and not really yeah. getting much recognition. And then mm. I was like, wow, it's so weird that if you are just yourself, I guess if you're awful, that doesn't work. But yeah. maybe I'm nice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the jury's still out on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but just through being myself and doing what naturally would come into my head, is when it really started to accelerate for me. Yeah. So I guess, but I look back on even my old videos and I'm like, pop culture history moment. Like, and I'm, I'm <laughs> probably not even like realizing that I'm doing it, but I'm trying to come across well. Yeah. And again, when I dropped that and just started talking like weirdo, mm. it really took off. So mm. I think my confidence in that came from realizing, oh, like I said before, the more that I am just myself, the more authentic it obviously comes across and then people were responding really well to it. So, yeah. mm. And how did you find like negativity as well? Because obviously you're being vulnerable, you put yourself out there. TikTok is a savage place in the mm. best of times. Savage. How did you find that at the beginning, right? And how have you hardened to that if you have over time? At the beginning, I, I mean, you don't really get much negativity, so good for you. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I, I know you're awful. I think I'm just I very uncontroversial I don't touch on any yeah boat. toe the line I yeah think you you also, know that I try my best you so. also don't I mean you have like your side of yourself that like you put into your videos and stuff mm. and I think because you produce your content more yeah it, the way it I doesn't really stuff, yeah. yeah it doesn't really if anybody's gonna like give you a hit or something what they're gonna say don't like how you edit that or something <laughs> yeah it's a terrible just, transition yeah. you make man. whereas if I'm like putting the camera down and just speaking for three minutes then there's a lot more like room for personal attacks yeah that's true um, so I guess at the beginning especially I just thought it was hilarious I think a big switching point for me was when I started to not only get hit from like bot accounts yeah like, I can totally handle yeah someone anonymous face yeah mm. random account someone yeah. whose name is like like Ariana Grande Warrior 957 or something. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not going to come to no, my house and attack me. <laughs> yeah. um, but again, you just have to come around to the thing of if they're spending their time to attack you online or like write horrible things or like horrible things about you, let them do it yeah. at the end of the day. A lot of people don't see influencers or celebrities as real people, yeah. which is understandable because they just see them all the time in the screen. They're never going to, in their head, meet them in person. But I mm. don't see myself as a celebrity or as somebody who is like inaccessible. Because mm. I still like get the tube. I don't know if that's like saying anything. <laughs> so relatable. Yeah, I'm so I'm just, one I'm of just us. Made, one you know of what I mean? Us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like I'm out and about all the time and I like still go out to the same places that I would have done before. Mm. So I think if somebody's writing, oh, what if Max Blake did fell down the stairs? That'd be great. And I'm like, what if they actually come and push me? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. They Is could it just you? be, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I do think you need to, I mean, you just develop this thick skin yeah. and stuff mm. that would have irritated me so much six months ago, three months ago, mm. won't now. Mm. And you just learn. For me, TikTok, you're in a lot of control. Whilst people can still make videos about you if they yeah. wanted, you, you can't control that. Mm. If 
you have a video and you're not liking what people are commenting, you can turn the comments off. If you are not liking the sort of words that people are using, you, you can filter them. Right? Filter them. Yeah. And that doesn't mean like continuously be offensive and just block it out. <laughs> but it's like, if people are, for whatever reason, just being nasty to you for the sake of being nasty, out, out of sight, out of mind works perfectly yeah. for me, I think. Yeah. And also bloody Facebook. Say where oh, yeah, yeah. Facebook what? Oh, yeah, no, like, oh so I really love good. groups. Oh, That's a whole world. I'm doing this really weird thing right now. I've not yeah. told anybody this. Sorry, I don't even know why I'm confessing this. <laughs> I So my town that I'm from has a like notice board page. Yeah. And I have made a fake account. I did this like <laughs> at the beginning of December. It's so weird. Um, of this woman, I'm not going to give her name away because I don't want people to find yeah. out that it's me. Yeah. Just made the most basic like... 50 year old woman account and uh because i'm from a town called darwin and next to it is bolton so my bio on my profile is like love darwin hate bolton and i just comment on people's posts and i love it and i just send them to my mum, and she loses her mind people, i don't even know about this i know <laughs> this is i've been doing quiet. it for a while so quietly. it's like something that i noticed before i go to bed like oh i could do that and i just have a really great time That's and so honestly, what, what are some of the responses you get oh my gosh so you, you must really trigger people oh there, i'm I oh, you have no idea like, I'm having i just the best know time. you are like loving it oh i'm having the best time like um what was it so someone said they'll put things in it like oh my mum was out in darwin town center today and she slipped so they put like she was walking from the post office to iceland like the shop iceland and she slipped so i'll comment under it like must have strong legs to walk all the way from darwin to iceland lol jokes all jokes aside hope she is well kiss kiss <laughs> Like genuinely, I'm having the best time, but I've not got, I've not got the right to post in the group yet because you have to. Have oh, you a, have to be approved, right? You moderators have to have, and all of that. You yeah, have yeah. to have an active Facebook account for more than three months. Wait, that's so I'm one playing of the, the long that's game. One of their things, yeah, because the people have obviously been Stop. making fake ones, so I'm playing the long game. Like the Hang on, it's not just, I've never popping. heard of this before. People, this is not. In, a, I don't. I've never seen anybody do it. Fake accounts. I've never seen anybody do it, but I can only imagine that people yeah. have no, because, yeah, like, I think. Well, I'm Alex and Mimulus. They've made videos in the past. Have they? Yeah, where they went well, that's on what to, I'm do, went onto carp fishing Facebook. Oh, amazing. And they just scrolled through, like, commenting, like, stupid <laughs> stuff. Like, anyone selling a carp or something? Yeah. Obviously, no. <laughs> well, I, well, I want to get the right to be able to post in it, because yeah. then I can take it you to You know what? If you, can, if you can get to the point where you're an admin. Oh. Or <laughs> one could only dream. I think, could, I think you could do it. Oh, I see it. I see, that's, that's, my, that's my career goal. Film, like, what a documentary this I know, be. yeah. Climb your way to the top <laughs> exactly. of life. Exactly. I think it's going to, I'm definitely going to do multiple TikTok series about, because I've been taking screenshots of every interaction oh, I've great. had <laughs> since the last like two months. I'm nearly at that three month mark. Then I'll start posting, then it's a YouTube video. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. That's a bang. Yeah. I'm so excited. Look, look, I've just come alive talking oh, about I'm, it. Oh, I'm, I'm vibrant. I'll show I'm you the profile this. later. It's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you so passionate I know, about anything I'm so Honestly, like, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's just really the thought of showing it. Yeah. I can't believe I've not told you. I can't. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like something that would come I up. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Well, moving on briefly <laughs> to your podcast. Yeah. Which, yes. guys, which is amazing. So the useless hotline podcast. Mm -hmm. Why did you make it? Why does it need to be in the world? Well, it doesn't, first mm. of all. Um, yeah. no. That's debatable <laughs> yeah. if it needs to be in the world. <laughs> well, I came up with the idea probably over a year ago now and it was going to be a hotline where people can like call in and get bad advice from basically and i would have guests on and then over that year it just kept developing and i was doing it with like a big conglomerate at first and i did multiple pilots with them and i was so you hadn't launched it yet right not launched no. it um i just re like we really wanted to nail it but then it kind mm. of became apparent that what they wanted to create and what I wanted to create were two different things. And also it was quite important to me to have control over the IP. And in case it did, like we wanted to tour it or we wanted to do merchandise, then that would all be under my control. And it wasn't until I signed with my new management MVE, which George was already signed to, yeah. um, that I properly got to know you. Because I also met you mm. around, I remember I'd gone to shoot my first pilot and that night was the night that I met you in that back alley doing dodgy things. No, yeah. <laughs> um, it was at our friend's <laughs> birthday party. I wanted to do it with a co-host that I liked. Yeah. Still 
work on that bit. Yeah, provisional yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. When's probation up? <laughs> Very soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Around the time that I hit my three month mark on my Facebook profile. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Should get a fellow Darwinian in. Yeah, I'll put, start putting ads in the group chat <laughs> looking, for, <laughs> looking for a co host. Um, you have to follow through with that. Yeah, I know. You're going to believe. And then, yeah, so brought George along and then kind of developed more so this idea that the useless hotline would be a workspace that like this imaginary office that exists. And if we had a guest on, they would come and do a mock interview to see if they can do a trial shift. And it, it's it's worked out really well. Yeah, I think um, it's a cool dynamic to have, yeah. to have it as like a fake job interview so we can have people come in like we had Stephen in the other day who was obviously much more well known online than we are mm. but then suddenly he's put a run below, below us. us because we're then the bosses yeah and I think yeah. it's just quite funny very fun yeah no, smash it. how has it skyrocketed or pushed your engagement and how has it been to kind of see you know such a frequency of content now being put out from you both I've seen people really shift and get a deeper interest mm. in me which I didn't see coming to be honest and it's really nice to now meet people in the like street or whatever and they're not just coming up saying oh that what that one video that you did yeah. oh my god where you was like doing this or whatever it's like i love your podcast and like you didn't yeah. just make me laugh you made me think yes oh <laughs> there we go yeah. i love that yeah, yeah. um it's, well that's one challenge really right cool. tiktok is definitely have is the sort of transience of it it's all it's quite transactional in a way it's mm. like made me laugh mm. next 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 but yeah. actually you know there is a need as you guys have found right to deepen that engagement how mm. important do you think it is for people creating on short form to try and find a long form outlet i think for longevity purposes it's very very important yeah, yeah. Like if i see a video and it's not engaged me within three seconds next, yeah it's sometimes even if i'm enjoying it yeah. if it's too long <laughs> yeah. and i go you are insane yeah. like you're yeah. actually liking that video but no can't be bothered it's quite funny to watch somebody scroll tiktok yeah and see yeah. how quickly they scroll mm. and yeah. even when you're doing it you even know this is not normal yeah. when i'm doing it this is like too quick for even my own head oh, i find definitely. yeah mm. but so going right back because I think we touched on it a bit before we sat down, but it was very interesting. How did you both start doing what you're doing? When did it become a thing? It was when I uh, finished uni. That I, I I didn't even have, even have the excuse of lockdown. It was literally <laughs> lockdown I'd finished. <laughs> Oh. So it, this was literally just an active so decision really as crazy. me. <laughs> yeah, just in a normal world. Ew. Um, but yeah, I think it was, I'd handed my last assignment in at uni. What and I was, uh, I was doing sports science, Can so not, it's not exactly mm, applicable jet. to the old uh, yeah. <laughs> TikTok. But um, yeah. yeah, so I handed the last one in and I was there for like a month, month and a half, just, you know, just doing uni things. Just and uni I was things. like, I might as well just, because I'd been posting, but it was like three or four times a month. Like mm. I, I really wasn't like going for it. But then I was like, I'm going to post once a day for the rest of the time that I'm at uni and just see what happens. And then I started doing people, I think I spoke in one of my videos and people were like, oh, you sound like Will from the Inbetweeners. <laughs> and I was like, brilliant, thanks. <laughs> That's not helped. Um, <laughs> and so then I started doing like impressions of him and then that like, started carrying away. And I think in, the, in those like two or three months, I think I went from like 75K to like 150 or something, which was like mental. Mm. Um, and then I was like, but I don't really want to be known as Will from the Inbetweeners. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And you still are. Exactly. Bless. Top comment on most of my videos is, yeah. is he sound like Will to anybody else? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Shut up. I had no intention whatsoever to be an influencer, to be in this world. I honestly thought all influencers were twats. And then I became one, so that's true. Um, no, but I was, I was so shocked when it started to happen to me because I was actually studying digital marketing at uni and then when I started to get followers I was an intern at L'Oreal as um, the digital marketing intern and like in my day-to-day -day life I would hear about like the influencer contracts and stuff like that whilst I was gaining all this following that was completely separate and nobody in my work knew um, until one day when I got put in a Daily Mail article because I had an argument on Twitter with Rebecca Vardy. <laughs> <laughs> such a stupid such story. Such a great thing for your workplace to find really out. Is. Everybody really respected me. Did you get me. called in to so, a thing? literally, she, what happened was there was a period in time where a lot of my TikToks were being reported and 
on TikTok, it's such a stupid system. One person could just like report a video mm, yeah. for whatever. It gets taken down. You have to appeal mm. it and all that. And you have right, to yeah. appeal it and then a human being assesses it. Mm. Um, so that just kept happening to my videos. But I tweeted, someone keeps reporting them and I know who it is. Um, and I put like dot, dot, dot. It was Rebecca Vardy's account as a joke, <laughs> obviously. Not yeah. insinuating. She didn't actually go on TikTok <laughs> and report your videos. She replied to it saying, how dare you? This is, how dare you accuse me of such a thing? These accusations are ruining my family. I would never do this. All this. And I was like, Rebecca Love. Just... I don't think anybody actually believes that you are sat there <laughs> repeatedly. Also, it was dot 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 Rebecca Vardy's account had become such a meme by that point. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'd never like had any press or anything. And suddenly it was in the Daily Mail. Who reads the, who read the Daily Mail? My like area director or like manager that day. So then the next day I get a call put in and I was like, oh my gosh, uh, uh, like what yeah. is going on? And then he was just like, so we, we've seen the article bit interesting isn't it and I was like I'm about to get sacked <laughs> I'm about to get sacked and luckily he just said like we think it's quite funny as long as you just don't mention that you work at L'Oreal if you if you keep doing this you know it could lead to opportunities further down the line we don't mind as long as you don't do anything ridiculous obviously yeah. and I was just telling you before we filmed this I had the weirdest full circle moment ever yesterday I did a shoot with Garnier which is like under the L'Oreal umbrella and found out that they wanted to do like a, a really amazing contract with me and my, the person who told me this at this breakfast that we were having said that when she had to do a presentation to let them know where the budget was going and like who to, that somebody replied in the chat saying, I don't know how I feel about this when my slide was up. So then she stopped her presentation and she was like, oh, like, um, is everything okay? Like, what, what, what's wrong? Like, and they replied, well, I used to be his manager. And, and she was like, "That this is just weird. <laughs> so now they want me to like go to L'Oreal and yeah. like go into the office, meet them all and everything. And I was like, this is just so Smoking like bizarre. a king. Like, yeah. Hello. So Hello. Yeah. Funny. Yeah, everyone. Where's it's so mental. Like, That's amazing. And, it, and like I say, it all happened by accident. I had no Within intention. a year and a half. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. and I think that that perfectly reflects in our like, comedic styles that show yeah. on our podcast i'm very much just myself no like editing often involved um just like whatever whereas so like on the podcast i'll just blurt out something that's absolutely ridiculous and then george kind of pieces it together in a nice bowl with like a witty <laughs> one-liner at the end <laughs> yeah so yeah. Uh, and that is very like how i see tiktok versus like youtube mentality mm. so now we're yeah. like blending the there we go there look at us what nice. a marriage i know <laughs> I love it. what i found so interesting about tiktok especially right is you get caught in these rabbit holes where you realize yeah. like how like how much like so many people replying and then you dig into the replies and then you get onto another thing and then there's another reveal and then there's other like all the i mean obviously seeing all the pool breach stuff of late, oh, right? oh god and yeah. like, i got sucked in i spent hours yeah a few weeks yeah. ago just being like what is going on and like but it's so compelling and it's like then you so click on compelling. someone's reply and then this and then this person's done this thing and then this whatever yeah it's like it's, it's what well, what is it what is it like to kind of what is that rabbit hole like it's just like I've been I mean, you've, you've never been, you've somehow been shoehorned into the I know I I've like, seen your video I'm involved in like, Paul Breach now and is... I'm like he made a video about me like I sent it to you like two days ago yeah. not made a video about me but he spoke about me on a live stream yeah I've been somehow put into this whole thing because somebody who he went on a night out with who has like associated herself with him as his friend looks like me <laughs> bear in mind she's, she's like a, a woman 45, <laughs> she's like a like a 40 year old woman but we do look like we could be related to that. i'm yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. say it. i see it yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just you can't deny it at this point it's what it is um so then people would always tag me in her videos like you look like her and then she'd made multiple videos like i actually don't know who my biological dad is so we could be related she's asked me for like family details stuff like that and i've just never replied but then now she's involved in this paul breach stuff mm. i made one video about it like how has this happened to my life like yeah not only is the woman that everyone always says looks like me <laughs> like on tiktok and constantly posting like about me and that we could be long lost relatives but now she's best mates with paul breach yeah. but what are some of the laws or the, the sort of storylines that you've just been sucked into you go like the paul breach one where it's like that is just well the, the people it. that go live that's that yeah. this is a whole different thing tiktok is 
mental. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. It's a different world. It is. It's a different and world. And like you said, with law, I think the people that go live start the most law because they then start to get like 10,000 people mm. watching them at a time. And the numbers as well, because live, I guess, oh, is pushing the algorithm more. And it's yeah. it's yeah. this whole sort of separate section, right? Absolutely huge. And they're on. If, if you filmed anybody for like like 24 hours a day, they're going to do something that annoys somebody. Yeah, mm. yeah. So like they have so many vicious haters, but then people are so compelled to watch them all the time. Mm. And then they start to interact with each other. And there's this whole aspect that isn't spoken about as much that the gifts that they're getting is just so mental to me. Like yeah, they earn so much thing, money. Really? I, I they earn well, a lot. So somebody who like, what, break that down. Like what's this, what could somebody so make? So I, know somebody who is like a very popular live like TikTok person and they live a lot of the time and they told me that in their first week of going live every day they earned five thousand pounds and that is purely money from people sending it to Just them from gifts and also TikTok mm. take I think sixty or seventy percent. What of the of the that's what I've heard. Stop. Yeah, and that better yeah, not be I wrong. Think, I, I that's think, what I that know, person told me. Yeah. Seventy. Yeah. Seventy percent. Seventy percent of so like if if me and you were obscene. watching, isn't it? So if we were watching a, a live stream, no you idea. can do the different stickers, can't yeah, you? Yeah, send yeah. the gift. Yeah. They all equate to a different amount of money. It's like the lion wow. is the most expensive, and that's like three hundred quid. Mm. Then they get about a hundred quid of that. If that. Wow. So, 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 all, so they're making five k, let's say, after TikTok seventy yeah, percent. So yeah. that's like think how much money people have just sent to them. Mm. And that's why I don't like going live because I don't like people thinking. That, that they, they need, need to, to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't turn it off. I've tried. I really yeah. have. So I guess it must be like TikTok apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's 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 wild, and there's a lot of discussion on like the morality behind that because they get put in leaderboards mm. every week. Yeah, that refresh, that, and I then do, they, they start really to get a bit like, like oh, I, I want to be in the leaderboards this week. So please send me money. And, and then it's this weird kind of it's this weird mm, dynamic yeah. of like they've got these people that you could argue are they vulnerable people that are mm. sending the money that like maybe it's a child and they're spending all the parents' money and they don't have a clue. Yeah, true. Um, or like then there's the other side of like people that are genuinely nice that are going live yeah. that are like people just send the money because they want to help them out. So mm. it's like it's really but then the balance you don't really yeah. know exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's an it. odd side of t I, 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 I would split TikTok into us and like that side like mm -hmm. people who yeah. are creators who make videos and get content through like brand collaborations and then the whole live stream that is they're very different right so lastly then we'll get into the final few questions for you guys mm. so what has been a career highlight for you both Ooh. i mean i've i've got to do i i'd say one moment that i fully looked around and was like how on earth am i here was when i was doing um a live stream for sky on the house of the dragon red carpet and we were like the tiktok representatives and i was interviewing people live on the red carpet like matt smith came over turns out he's from the same town that i am so we, we were having a right old chat it was yeah. great my grandma told me the day before and i was like am i going to use this information because what if she's wrong and then um turns out it was right so then it was it was amazing but well done, i was i know th thanks dorothy and then I got to be on Radio 1 on Christmas Day. Dude, that was like mental. Yep. It's just weird. I don't yeah. understand it, honestly. <laughs> I think I think mine would have to be sort of like YouTube-based just because I'm, I've been a little YouTube Well, that was your goal, yeah. The, yeah. Mm. So probably like either going on Stephen or Chris's video. Mm. Um, that was like weird because I've obviously watched them yeah. a lot before and I hope they didn't see this because <laughs> they were like what you watched me <laughs> no um, but no yeah that's just like really cool and I think I think it's more the fact that they want me on it yeah as it because mm -hmm. a lot of the who, who are Stephen and Chris by the way for those, uh, Chris MD and Stephen Tries yeah so um, sort of name drop. <laughs> yeah. Stephen and Chris from down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really liked the videos for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what is the one bit of advice that you would give to a young creator coming up today? Um, I think my main bit would be this is so, it's so cliche. I feel like a lot of the responses yeah. you would get are cliche, but I, I think my main thing and the, the thing I try and do when I make videos is just have fun with it. You have to love it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would say, Stay true to yourself unless you're an awful person. If you're an awful person, fake it to your make create it. <laughs> an entirely different fake personality. Yeah. 
and ride it till the cows come home. Is that a saying? Or have yeah. I made that up? Yeah, no, there we good. go. Make there them go. cows come home. Yeah. And um, yeah, stay humble because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's going to get taken away from you because you're an evil, evil person. Yeah. And you don't deserve it. No. no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good yeah. Right. And then finally, who mm. is a creator that you're loving at the minute? Well, I briefly spoke about them before, but it's this grandma and granddad in Louisiana. They have about... Oh, do you know they're at? I think that they're called something like Mom Mom and Pop Pop. Because, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and she oh she's called like sally sue i'll find it i'll find it um and she literally just creates recipes that she's made her whole life for her husband and she's eating like a pineapple upside down cake on the porch in louisiana and she's giving a detailed description about how great. the recipe says you know just add two cups of sugar but i put an extra one for love and it's like oh sally sue right here and she followed me back and now some when it was my birthday she dude, you a, have to do a video together oh i know Please. oh i'll go i'll travel she's not gonna come here you know uh, right but yeah. you can go I, I am aware yeah um she made a birthday cake for me and posted it on my birthday <laughs> yes but i don't know if she was doing it for me or if how the, much did you give for that uh, quite a lot yeah um, so definitely a free, lion. free lions definitely yeah. Yeah. um i think in terms of tiktok uh there's a guy called yeah, he's not he's not posted in the last like few months i know what you're I gonna say yeah there's a guy called tommy solemn who is genuinely one of the funniest people that like it's just so he's so naturally funny. It's not like a sort of act that he puts on, and it comes across. And that he did these videos where there's a, there's a filter on TikTok where you click and uh, like a letter will come up, and he did like a story, um, like and each sentence starts with that letter. And he but he it's it sounds it's I think that's what makes him so good is that it sounds like such a boring idea, but it, it just makes it like brilliant. Mm. Sounds great, um, lovely legend. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Thank you so much it's been for having a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It has been. <laughs>